Welcome back to the channel. You all seem to love the last F-350 Dually video where I introduced my 65,000 mile 2005 F-350 Dually to the channel here on YouTube. Uh, today we've got some mods as you've seen. Uh, I still haven't cleaned the interior so just look over that. But uh, we got our heat gun today. And uh, we got a couple other things. And we also got the overkill fabrication grill on our 2006 F250. I may have called this an F350 earlier on in the video. I don't remember. They're both F250s to me. One of them has six wheels, one of them has four. Anyway, so as you can see, we went to Kroger and got a new third brake light for the truck. Got some acetone. Let's see, some goo gone. And uh, they just got in these awesome F-350 badges. They're uh, next to the produce. Alright. Like that. So our first mod that we'll go ahead and throw on is the third brake light because this one is uh, it's looking pretty crusty. It like flitter flatters and and stuff and flickers so we bought a new one link to this third brake light will be in the description below it is I don't know if you can see you see the LEDs that are yellow uh, those are white then the ones that are just like silver in the middle are red and then the three on each end are white so there's three white one on the right, three white one on the left, and then one, two, three, four, five, six red ones in the middle uh, for your brake lights. And that is LED, just plug and play. Uh, we got some goo gone and a heat gun to take off these fake ass Harley badges. And uh, also take off this uh, gigantic sticker that somebody, uh, that the previous owner had on the fenders. That I'm pretty sure they used super glue or something on or we may have to repaint the fenders. Uh, we got some acetone to try on the pinstriping to maybe prevent us from wet sanding it. Uh, goo gone for the uh, for the badges and stuff, and then replacement badges to get rid of those Harley ugly Harley badges. Uh, also, some goo gone to get rid of this glue that was on the dash. So, without further ado, I'm going to go take two Phillips head screws out of the third brake light, pull the old one off, and slap this one on. Let's go. Okay. Now I reckon it should be as easy as taking out these two hefty Phillips head screws and taking off this pile of recon garbage. Look at this, recon piece of junk flickering LEDs look at this recon if you see this recon you are owe me $36.99 so what you want to do is take your old third brake light made by recon and just toss it then come over here and you take your new one that you got down here at Kroger right beside the produce section link will be in the description you've got two o-rings these o-rings are very important because with this horrible design of all of these third brake lights right here the two mounting holes the two mounting holes right here are, there's a gap in between the uh, the inside housing and the lens. So what you want to do is take her, wait hold on. So now this is your waterproof seal. You want to take your waterproof seal, gosh dang, 
Take off the paper. Take the paper off the waterproof seal. Poke out them two holes right here. Poke that out. Now, you take your waterproof seal, drop it down through here. And, uh, just press down on it. It makes it waterproof. Now, I don't know if that's necessary for both sides to be sticky. I threw the other one or I'd go look at it. But uh, let's just go full send. And we are going to peel the sticky back off. And uh, plug it in. Alright, and once you got it plugged in, you want to just set it on here. We'll go and test it. Before you screw it on, test it. After you've checked it and seen if it worked, you just want to reuse your Phillips head screws, except this time you want to get these O-rings. And if your third brake light doesn't come with these O-rings, then just don't even put it on because it's just going to get water all in it. You can have a third brake light that has a good seal on it and if you don't put these O-rings on then it's still going to get moisture inside of it. So take these O-rings and push them on. They go all the way up to the top. I don't even know if you can see that. Right there you go. Put those O-rings all the way up at the top. Take one of your screws. And just tighten them down in there. You don't have to get them tight. It's already stuck on with 3M double-sided tape. This baby ain't going nowhere. You just want to get pressure up against those O-rings so it doesn't leak and let water into your cab. Okay, that seems to be tight enough. So of course after you put those on with the uh, the drill, you want to check back over them with a normal screwdriver. Make sure it has good pressure up against the, uh, the cab. And make sure that the o-ring is fully seated in there so then moisture or water doesn't get in there. Alright, on to the next mod boys. Alright, so on to the next thing, we need to get these ugly Harley emblems off uh, and replace them with the new ones. So you want to heat these up with the heat gun and get them very, very hot to where you can hardly touch them. And then that's hot enough. Don't take them no further. Don't start melting the chrome or doing no crazy stuff like that. Uh, you want to pinpoint right in the center so then the heat travels out, down and up. Uh, just keep on heating back and forth. Don't just sit in one spot and don't go slow. Just go back and forth Heat it up evenly And then if I can't get these off by by just pulling on them Then I'll run some fishing line in behind them to get them started and then just pull them off So I've already got them preheated for video purposes We're gonna go ahead and hit them one last time get them warmed up. I've already got this pulled out just a little bit so nobody comment below and say that I already had that done because I know that I already had that done. You don't want to sit here for 30 minutes and watch a heat gun. Alright, so get them hot and I have this angled plastic pry tool. It's angled like that. All I do is just use a little microfiber cloth set underneath it. Maybe double fold. And then I use that to cushion it. Then I shove that back in there and pry on it. It's exactly what I've done. Okay. So now that I've got them pried out enough, I can put that in there. Pull out on that. God. Them things got some weight to them. Those are real. 
These are real. These things, listen. That's real. That was that was 50 pounds. That's weight reduction right there. Oh lord, yeah. Hopefully this glue comes off all nice. Whoa, boys, look at that. So now that we have the bulk of adhesion, double-sided tape, whatever you call it, off, you can go ahead and take your super, super, super soft microfiber towel and uh, start rubbing, get all that off. I'm hoping that the Goo Gone will get this off, but I don't think that it will. It's like hard. I don't know if they use Gorilla Glue or what, so we're probably gonna end up having to wet sand every bit of that trim around and then rebuff this panel. So I'm gonna figure out something here and then I'll catch you here in just like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right guys, so we got some bad news. It's not horrible, but it's bad news. Uh, the Dooley had some Bully Dog emblems, like the Bully Dog brand, they make like cold air intakes, tuners, whatever. Uh, it had some of the Bully Dog logos underneath the Harley badges and I peeled those off like the day that I bought it and uh, they had left an outline and I just now finished up buffing what I could. Uh, I ended up having to wet sand down the fender right here. Um, someone has super glued the emblems on so I actually ended up taking a razor blade and picking off as much as possible but the super glue or whatever glue they use has actually melted into the clear coat. So if I sanded it down, either way there's gonna be this line. So we're gonna go ahead and just buff all the scratches out that I put in it. We're just about done, I've got one more step to go. Uh, like I said, we have to do like a whole buff on the whole truck anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. I just want it to be, uh, you know, presentable. And so I'm gonna go ahead and slap this emblem on and then pull the new emblem out of the bag like i said this just is double-sided tape so you go and peel all that tape off don't put the emblem on upside down so you want to just kind of eyeball it you don't want to put it crooked i'm going to put it as low as possible just covering up that Dot right there. And then just press it on. And you just want to hold for about 20 seconds after you press it on. And then you should be good to go. So there's one of them on, like I said. You can still see it. I thought that it was going to cover up more than that, but it didn't. But it is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out the other side and the tailgate, and then I'll see you then. All right, guys, so we got all of the emblems on, and then we've done the third brake light. Got the tailgate emblem on as well. Third brake light emblem turned out awesome. We also have color match tail lights coming uh, I'm still building those. There will be a video on how I built those. Uh, they'll be color match gloss black to the truck. We have 08 and up style mirrors with chrome caps. They'll be going on. And then to continue on the video, we have to go to single shot powder coating to pick up some more powder coated parts. So I also done 35% on the front, uh, five over factory all the way around. These front twos are just five. The back sides and the rear are five over factory. They come with like 25% from the factory. Uh, and then 35. We have chrome and clear headlights on the way, LEDs. Uh, we'll probably do a light bar in the bottom down here. Just kind of giving y'all some more stuff that's coming to the truck. I was working on getting the orange pinstripe off and I got a little bit of it out back here that I managed to get off. So, 
So we will be knocking out the pinstripe in a later video. Um, it's actually getting sort of later in the day. We have to head over to single shot powder coating in Somerset, Kentucky to pick up some final pieces to the 06 F250 build that we're doing right now on the channel. Uh, if you want to check out more on that truck, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Um, so we're going to go ahead and head to single shot powder coating. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.